What's up guys, this is Jesse. Sorry about the lighting quality in this room. Um, the sun went down and I have bad lighting in this room, so sorry about that. Um, I'd also like to say that I'm going to play Amnesia in The Dark Descent, or The Dark Descent. Same thing. Um, as a filter with this, with this game here. Um, it's also a scary game. I'm going to actually try to record it with this camera right here. It's a web camera, so... One, the quality's not great, and I, I do want to play it at night, you know, when it's really dark to kind of get, you know, that ambient feel. And, um, we'll see what, we'll see what it does. I am gonna, I'm gonna reorder my camera, because the guy on eBay screwed me over. He, uh, went on vacation, that bastard. But I got my money back and refunded and everything, um, but yeah, so I'll get it, I'll get my camera and we'll start recording this, but, um, Anyways, this is going to be episode 6 of The Walking Dead, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, episode 2. Well, chapter 2. Or no. It's episode 2, chapter 1. I think. Freedoms of The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I Fucking got another good one for you. been all by yourself through this yeah i want my parents to come home now and you you keep an eye on that front door you're our lookout it's doug you got it and i'm carly okay carly you'll shift in with doug when you got it boss <laughs> son of a bitch one of them is bitten we reason with him at the bloody end of an axe handle maybe nobody threatens my boy Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. All right. All right, so this is the beginning of chapter two. We left off with the um, the lights going out at the motel. Oh, it's three months later. Oh shit, I get to do something. Oh, well they've been doing good for three months. Killing a bunny. Who are you? Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but. I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. And Carly's yeah, kinda crazy. You're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Uh you'll have to ask you late. Oh, we don't have enough, that's what we don't. Oh, we'll manage. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Oh, Lily's the bitch. It's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. He's probably yeah, finding between dolphin. the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. The fucking RV... Uh, I know he wouldn't abandon Kitty us. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Larry, haven't his pills, like, gone? Uh, he thinks I'm dangerous. He's an old racist asshole. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. 
Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Heart problems or not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. <laughs> I thought he'd lie about it. <laughs> or at least give me the option to say anything. Don't you shoot that bird. Yeah, don't risk the noise, man. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Whoa, shit. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Better leg it. So much for being hungry. You're killing it. Fight or flight. It's funny. Oh, it's a bear trap. On some old guy. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Oh my God. Why the fuck uh, is there a bear trap camp. out here? What happened? I don't know, man. What the hell happened? Mr. Parker said we should stay off the streets. We were trying to be careful, but... Uh, is that Mr. Parker? Up. Gotta help me. Please. Man, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Uh, we'll try. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh, of course. They're right there. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. I cut off his leg. There's just two of them. Shit! Walkers! It's now or never, Lee! Please! Get me out of this! Cut off his leg. Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! You gonna cut off his leg? Why is this happening to us? Please, Please do something. Get me oh, out of this. Why can't I do it? Oh, God. I'm gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no! Jane. Try the trap again. Anything. Please. Nope. You gotta cut that off. Boom. Ah. He had practice with his brother. Oh, my God. It has to be now. Did you even. Oh, yeah, he tied it there. Okay. Oh my god. Just one more. Damn it, Lee just cut off his fucking leg. Just one more. You don't have time for that. I'm... Oh my god, yeah. Oh god. Shit. Is he? He cut Dave he free. You damn right he cut him. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Just hit him with the axe. Oh god. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! What was he doing? Why was he wiping his mouth? Oh, you're screwed. No! They were digging into him, taking out his loins. Alright. Guess that's what chapter 2 is gonna look like. Good start, good start. Oh, but I'm going hungry. Achievement! Episode 2, Starved for Help. Oh, poor Clem. Of course, Duck can find, you know, interest in anything. His imagination is just unbounding. Larry thinks he's trying to help, but he's useless. 
What? It's us. Don't shoot. Hello? Oh god. Please don't shoot me. Oh god, Clem. You're making it intense. Keep oh, the gates open! We've got run. wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Uh, run come from on, zombies? Come on. Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's, What's going on? We have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll I'm see right, what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you wanna calm down for a fucking hey, minute? He would've died no, if we left I him. Don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Life. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not <laughs> responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group. That is right here, true. right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Come Just on. Come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the oh, leader she's a of this smart little one. group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on. You're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, Doesn't suddenly matter I'm a charge, goddamn right. Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. Whoa. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're going to have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Chris. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Jeez, Lily. I didn't... You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. I think they hate you because you, you have know like. What? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Oh God. Maybe everyone hates you because you have like eight pairs of balls. Four food items for ten hungry people. Well, oh, everyone's looking at me. Oh, shit. Why ain't giving it to Larry? Oh, God, Kenny. Fuck the boy. Do I give it to myself? Can I give it to myself? So I've got two crackers, an apple, and... Uh, I'm I'm a little packet of buffalo, packet of buffalo. Uh, no. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Oh no! Can you help me find it? Yeah, of course I'll help you find it. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Oh, I didn't really help you find your hat, did I? Oh, I could give her food. I think I I have to at least give her, give her food. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Give half of an apple, a piece of jerky, oh, so it's not a bag of uh, buffalo. 
um, give crackers and cheese. Well, we can get really technical here. The crackers and cheese should have the most calories. The apple is going to have the least useful calories. And the beef jerky is going to be really lean. Hmm. We'll do it the most calories. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? Oh god. There's only three pieces of food left. Well, I know Kenny would rather me give it to, uh, to Duck. And you are just not going to make it. So we'll give the two kids food. Um, want some food? Yeah. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Same thing. You can have... You can have the crackers and cheese. Why are you so happy? Maybe you don't need food. Alright, we'll give you the half of an apple. Sorry. Oh! Whoops! Wrong button. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> I'm sorry. Here, wait. I clicked the wrong hey, button. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Look how happy he is. We'll give you half of an apple. Here. Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? Oh. What do no. you think, Duck? No. Probably not. Alright, cool. So, I've got... Kenny is taken care of because I took care of Duck. Screw you. Who are you? Ben. Screw Ben. Can I give myself food? Okay. Carly, you have been the most help to me. Want something to eat? You can have... Oh. You can have the jerky. Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Whoa. I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Well, I chose to feed you because you look like crap. Look at you. Can I even... Can I even eat it myself? I'm not sure if I... If I can. Let me look at the soccer ball. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Yeah. Can I, uh... So I, I can't feed myself. Um, who's over here? Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <laughs> well, I know who I'm not giving the food to. As a matter of fact... You know, you brought the food in the first place. I think I think you you deserve it because you brought it. I mean, it is your food. Here, eat something. Yeah. You can have the beef jerky. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind yep. if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Oh. Um. Well, fuck Larry, are you kidding me? Is that even an option? Give it to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Nope. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? <laughs> is that what you told him? Hell yeah. That's not what I meant. I never said... Oh, I don't want to say I never said that. I'll be like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Well, Larry, I'll tell you what I'm going to do about it. I'm going to not give you that axe, and I'm not going to give you any food. Oh. 
Let's see, who do I have to cover here? I gave both the kids food. Carly doesn't want the food, she wants me to have it. I gave Mark the food, he gave me, he, he's the one who brought all the food. Well, I think, I think I'm gonna keep it for myself then. Cause Kenny and, uh, oh god I can't remember how to pronounce her name. Kenny and his wife are alright. Um, I'll, 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 I'll take it myself. I need to keep my strength up too. Damn right. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before- Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened uh -oh. to my food? There's none left. It's all in your you belly. You treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Neither do I. I don't see you working either. I think that was Ken, a good choice. Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Eh, let him go. Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? At least we didn't give up. Oh shit! Oh my god. Uh, Q? Q? Uh. E! Hurry up, bring the axe! Oh shit, uh, punch. Uh, Q? Oh, I'm gonna shake. Oh, I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Smash his head. Smash. Grab the X. Oh, come on. Kick him. Kick, kick, kick. 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 Cut his head. Uh, S to back away. Can you kick him? Kick. Oh. Oh, my God. You. What happened to the axe? You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm oh down. You're God. gonna get us all killed! Look, Larry. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? What? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. Oh, it's like a disease. It's gonna happen to all of us. Or a virus. I don't really know. So we're all infected? We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Damn. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Hey guys, thanks for watching episode 6 of The Walking Dead. I hope you guys are still enjoying that series. Um, a little bit about amnesia. That game is scary. It is probably, I mean, it's right up there with one of the scariest games, at least I've heard of. Um, I haven't played it yet, so basically what it is is a puzzle adventure game with a whole bunch of crazy shit that goes on in the background that tries to kill you and attack you. There's no fighting in this. It's You just got to run away from it. It's freaky as hell. Um, I do plan on playing this at night. I do plan on playing this with big noise-canceling headphones over my ears so I can't hear anything else, so... um. And I do plan on uh, 
recording the the video here so you guys can see it, see my reaction. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned for that. And uh, I guess uh, peace out. No, don't peace out yet. Not yet. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and peace out, and we'll see you next time. Zeus says peace out too.